Hello, happy Monday, art class. Um, today we're gonna be doing a verse out of Psalm 25. And honestly, I have just been feeling weary. Weary this weekend and weary today. I did get a cha change of scenery. As you can see, right up in this corner, we had some paint um, spill out of the, <laughs> Out of the attic so it's dripped down and there and then dried right there so it's very nice uh, <laughs> but it was so beautiful outside so I was like let's just paint outside we're gonna do a pretty um, greenery border and then we're gonna do a verse um, a verse out of Psalm 25 I'm gonna invite a few people let's see okay and um, anyway so I've just been feeling weary mostly weary of just the heaviness surrounding what we're doing. Um, and then I guess feeling like that's at my tipping point. And, um, and then, hey Heather. And then also just the, um, I don't know, just having to break up fights over and over in my house of just, you know, little ones um, nitpicking at each other and, Therefore, I am not very patient because it's having, it's my everyday. So anyway, I would love your prayers and let me know if you can hear. Some people said there was no sound, but there should be. And so if there's not, it's probably my fault. But um, I, okay, so Psalm 27 says, turn to me and be gracious to me in verse, starting in verse 16, turn to me and be gracious to me for I am lonely and afflicted. I thought lonely and afflicted, what? What adjectives to describe us right now? The troubles of my heart have multiplied. Free me from my anguish. And then David goes on to say in verse 21, May integrity and uprightness protect me because my hope is in you. In our sermon yesterday, um, Pastor Rick was talking about how our hope is in the Lord. It is not going to be in positive thinking or, you know, pretending that everything is fine, but that knowing that God is in control. And so, um, and in fact, later I'm going to post a little word that Zuzu shared that was wonderful and, um, and it will encourage you as well. But just talking about our hope in Jesus that he knew before the foundation of the earth that this would happen. And so we're just needing to be reminded that our hope is in him. So I'm needing to be reminded of that today. So I'm going to turn this around. I'm going to have Zuzu, who is my co-host today. She's going to say hello. Say hello, Zuzu. Hi. <laughs> As I as I work the camera, I'm so good at it. Can Hi. you tell them something about your day? Um, tell them about your big news for school next year. Oh yeah, um, we in the mail. A letter came in the mail, and we found out that I'm gonna be in. What's it called? Pre AP. Yeah, pre AP math. And She's science. big time. She's big time. Oh, sorry about my camera work. Okay, here we're coming down. We're coming down to the paper. Okay, so today we're outside. We've moved our studio outside because of how beautiful it is. So what I've done, I've taken my watercolor paper and I've just folded it in half. And, um, and then after I folded it in half, I took one of my green watercolor markers or watercolor pencils and I just sketched a very quick rectangle on both sides in the middle. So a very quick rectangle on both sides in the middle. And I'm gonna, Zuzu has done the same. Let me reach across here. There's Zuzu's. Okay, so here we go. So we're gonna start, I actually got in the mail, I got a really, I got a couple of cute things in the mail. One thing was this letter from Dot. And I had sent her a print because she won one of our contests. And look, she lettered this for us. Thank you so much for the beautiful print from Dot and Abby. Isn't that precious? Made my day. So what we're going to do now, Zuzu, would you take a little bit of that and water all of our, water all of our paints? All the plants. All, all the plants too. So I got also another letter in the mail that had this beautiful border on it. And so that's what's given me the idea to do this today. So we're going to take this border that we've made. And I'm just going to start out by doing some little leaves. Three leaves down here or in opposite corners. Three leaves over here. So 
I'm going to do that on both sides. So whatever I'm doing on one side, I'm going to do on the other because eventually we're going to fold this over and this is going to be a card to send to somebody. So we have our card, we have our paper, we folded it in half. We've done our rectangles and then now we're just doing three leaves. Ooh, that was an ugly one that I just did. <laughs> Leaf mess up and I'm going to color it in lightly because I'm going to come back with some other paints as well. Okay. Now I'm going to use this. Zizi, would you go get Miss Brittany's wedding invitation? Uh-huh. And I have three, three little leaves down here. Where is it? I think it's on the kitchen island. And two little leaves over here. So again, I'm kind of mirroring everything just to help my brain power today. My shirt today says I was normal six kids ago, <laughs> which was sort of true. I've always been a little spacey, but oh, thank you. Okay, so this was the wedding invitation that we got in the mail that was so pretty. And so we're going to do something like it. It's not going to be exact, but something like it. Let's see. So we're coloring in those little leaves lightly because that's eventually going to become watercolor with our watercolor um pencils i also posted a um i posted a link or no i posted just like a list if you're looking for things for your easter basket um just some ideas about things you could order um i found some even on my walmart pickup you can it was it was going to let me put it in my bucket so just try. Try at your Walmart pickup. You can try um, Walmart online, Target online, and then, of course, Amazon. But the Amazon might take a little bit longer. So essentially, on every side, I have eight little leaves on every, sorry, on four sides of my corners. Okay, so now after we've done that, I'm going to choose a different green color. And I'm going to come and do some little sprigs coming out. So my mine are going to go from where the leaves are, the grouping of three, they're going to go outward from there. Outward. And on the, on the ends of those, I'm going to do a little, just a little circle. And you're fine, Sue. You have time. Susie's working super quick. Okay, so essentially, this is just doodling. <laughs> Therapeutic doodling for when you've had a rough day or, or a few weeks. Okay, I'd love to know who you're going to give this to. One, two, three. Okay, so there we go. Just some doodles. And we're also, so then I'm just going to go straight into my watercolor from there. You know, actually, I'm sorry. I'm going to go ahead and start my verse with, again, with my watercolor pencil. And I'm going to write, so I'm going to make hope the most prominent thing. So I'm going to give that the most lines. If you want to use a pencil, can I use your pencil? Thank you. If you want to use a pencil, you could block off maybe a little line like that, like about two, about an inch. What color is? You can use it, that color right there. That'll work. So right here, we're going to block off about an inch and a half. Okay. Now I'm going to write, so I'm going to go in the middle of this. I'd like to make this look as simple as possible don't want it super busy. So right now I'm using my letters. And again, if you would like a link, I have a paper that you can print off. I put it on Facebook, but it's been a few weeks. Um, if you would like a paper as to all the letters that I do. Um, but girl, you just make up your own too. So you could just use your font up and down, but I'm just going to use some curly cues because I like curly cues. We'll zoom in on that a little bit. So my, and then I'm going to leave this part blank because I'm going to come back with just my watercolor for the word hope. My hope, and then is, 
N and then U. I'm going to capitalize because we're going to talk us talking about the Lord. So this is not my best lettering right here. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come back and highlight it. And on every downstroke, remember to thicken it. Okay. I'm really excited because on Wednesday it's supposed to be warm enough maybe to go swimming and give us something fun to do. Okay. Now, my Y came all the way down and touched my border. I probably shouldn't have done that, but it'll be okay. If you can keep from doing that, try to. My hope is in you. <clears throat> and then on the back, the back of our card, it's okay. <laughs> hey, that'll work. You can just cut it if you want. You could just use that side. <clears throat> okay. So... On the back, we're going to write, made with love. And then I'm going to write, by. And I'm going to write, Tanner, in block letters. You do not have to write block letters if you don't want to. But please don't write my name. You write your name. <laughs> Made by Tanner. Okay, and again, I'm going to come back on the downstrokes and thicken these lines. It's just going to make it look better when we add the water. Made with love. There goes the UPS guy, if you were wondering. Okay. Made with love by Tanner. Okay. And then we're going to do sprayed with Lysol again, because I think that's I think it makes people laugh, but it also lets people know that you're ready, <laughs> that you're taking care of them. Okay, um, and I'll put a little and sign, sprayed. With Lysol. And again, I kind of like to mix and match when I'm using my curly Q letters and when I'm using my block letters. And also when it gets around this Y, I'm just gonna not, I'm not gonna go over it again because it, it will get confusing as to what line is what. I drive Corey crazy with these curly Q letters. He is not a fan. He says they're unreadable, but I like them. I'm just gonna keep going with them. Lysol. Okay, so you got your paints nearby, hopefully. And we're going to start. Oh, I'm going to start by making a mess on my paper, actually. That's the first step. Step number one, make a mess. I'm really good at that. Um, I'm going to start by reaching over the thing awkwardly. Do you know what? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was looking for this. It was right beside me. Um, I, oh, I do. I do. Okay. So I'm going to come in here and make sure you're seeing this. My hope. My hope is in you. Okay, make sure and thicken those lines. Try to make 
crisp, clean edges. I've been giving some of these to some of my dear friends that I wish that I could have seen yesterday before church. I um, went and met some of our ladies from our life group at at church, and we just sat in the back of our vans and chatted six feet away, and it was awesome. It was so much fun. Okay, my hope is in you. So now I'm going to take... It looks great, Zuzu. My wet brush... And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to just wet the lines that I've already done. So essentially I'm just tracing everything I've already done Can to I bring out. It just brushes? Sure. There's one tiny one in there. I don't know where it is. Here's one. There you go. Thank you. Zuzu the Incredible. So what this does, whenever you wet it, it just brings out a little bit more color. It makes it more vibrant. Now when you do your lettering, with, you've already done the watercolor pencil. You're going to go over it very gently with this. You don't want too much water. Usually I want a whole lot of water on my brush, whatever we're doing. But whenever we're doing this, we want to make sure that we kind of stay in those lines and just barely wet it. So I kind of touch the leaves first to make sure I don't have a glob of water on my brush before I go to the letters. So I'm going in between leaves and letters. And then we're going to come back and do more more leaves in a second with our just our plain watercolor. Okay. I wonder if anyone else has had those days this week where you just kind of feel a little weary. And so that was why this was so encouraging to me, this passage that James, or sorry, that David said, that he said, for I am lonely and afflicted. And we've definitely all felt lonely in this season, that's for sure. But just knowing that our hope is in him, that that's, that's where we're headed, where we have to keep our eyes on who he is. Okay, and we're gonna hope we're gonna hope that our word hope has dried in just a little bit, so we can do some nice highlighting on that. Okay, make sure and do your box too, all the way around. And you may want to go in there and go ahead and erase your um, kind of your little training wheels lines. For the word hope. Is it not working, baby? No, I missed that. That's okay. Touch in each of the dots first, and then I'll do the line to go over it, just to make sure it stays kind of thin and skinny. That's very bright. Okay, so there's my hope is in you. And I'm going to come over here to do the back of my card. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you laughing at me. I always laugh at you. You know why? You know why he says I laugh in the face of danger? Ha, 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 ha. recently one. told me that his middle name was Manly. I, I don't know what we were talking about, but he said, my middle name is Manly. That boy, he makes me laugh. I would love to know if you have any creative ways to send these to people by carrier pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mostly thinking that if you've mailed them, if you've sent them far, far away, if you've sent them to your next door neighbor. J.O. did mail a 
card the other day to our next door neighbor and I was like, don't use a stamp. We're rationing our stamps. But I'm sure it'll be well received. <laughs> he mailed a he mailed a little note to Austin and he used a stamp. He did? Yeah. And he delivered it himself. <laughs> Did he put it in the box? Yep. Or maybe just on his front door. Okay, we're almost through, so we're gonna come back with some of our other colors. And hopefully do these little, I don't even know what those are called. We're just gonna make them Tweedledees. What? The little, uh, these little doodads. What should we name those? Uh, they look like, uh, like kind of cattails, but <laughs> not. I was going to say lollipops, but. Lollipops work. Okay. I'm really excited this afternoon. I'm going to sit in the hammock and read a book. What are you going to do, Zoo? Uh, I'm going on a walk with Maddie. Aw, that'll be fun. And you're gonna play golf with me. Oh yes, we're gonna do a little golf, little golf instruction in the backyard. Dad said he had a golf net. He does have a golf net, which I actually laughed at him for buying, but now I'm thankful. Turns out he's pretty smart. He always has one. I know. Don't give him credit for it. I need to. Okay. I'm so good at this. Just lots of practice. Lots of probably not paying attention in school, which is <laughs> not good. Nice. Okay. So I'm almost done with doing my letters. I hope you are too. If not, you can just pause this and come back to it. Restart it. I'm really excited because some of our little paintings we've made copies of and we're going to send to our hospital here to, to our nursing staff for all of the amazing things that they are doing. So if you have any other good ideas, share them with me. People to be encouraged. Okay, and then... As we move on to some of our other leaves, I want you to keep your small brush. I did everything on this side. That's okay. So Zuzu made a mistake on one of her sides, so we just cut off and she's just gonna use it more like a five by seven. Made with love, sprayed with Lysol. Okay. And now we're going to come, we're going to do a few more, I'd like to do some swirly do's. That is a technical term only famous artists use. So we're just going to essentially make a vine coming out of this. And the thing about vines is they're never the same. That's okay. They're never the same. It's not, so they're not going to, they're not going to look and all the same, which if you, if you like to make things symmetrical, just take a deep breath, a deep breath. It's going to be okay. So some of them, I'm just going to make them swirl around and then some of them I'm going to bring them all the same way. So, but I like just that that offers a little bit of, um, whimsy to our painting. And we're going to bring one around here. You can actually use it to kind of balance your painting too. If, if it's kind of a little off centered, you can bring a vine in anytime and, oh, it looks, it looks kind of centered. Um, I don't want to get vine heavy, but I can't help myself. Okay. So there's my vines coming out. I'm going to do them over here on this side too. Vines don't look very good. <laughs> uh, no, they look good. Just like, go ahead and bring them all the way around like this and curl them all the way around. 
the key is as you get to the end, you're just gonna gradually lift up your brush. You're gonna lift up your brush to give it kind of a pointed end. Oh, there goes a napkin. It's very exciting. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna do a few with about, let's see here, a fourth of inch brush. I'm a little, a little bit bigger. I'm going to come back in and do a kind of a gray green, which I'm going to mix. Let's see here. So I'm just mixing a little bit of black with a green, a light green, to kind of make a gray green. And I'm going to come in and put some leaves, kind of just wherever I need. When I need a little. I don't know where I have a little spot that's bare, a barren spot. Do I have any barren spots? Yeah, just like right in there. And just add just a little gray green leaf. Sorry, baby. Okay. My hope is in you. I'm going to say that over and over to myself. I'm praying in my closet. I just got gray. There we go. Oh, I'm so sorry, y'all. Boop. <laughs> Can't see any of that because I'm not, I'm not good at this. Okay, so we're filling in any spots that we can with these little skinny leaves in a gray green color. Yeah. You're doing great, baby. I promise. Okay. You may even take some of that gray green and use it to shade kind of your big three leaves. These, the groupings of three, and then you have some groupings of three right here. So essentially we're just gonna hit it with just a little bit of that gray green on the edge, kind of to give it a little bit of dimension. And again, we've talked about the shading that whenever it hits, it's gonna, that's gonna be the shadow. So the sun's over here, and then that's the shadow over there. So kind of give a little definition to our leaves. To our larger leaves. Okay, so this is what we have so far. My hope is in you. My hope is in you. Show me your way. <laughs> Don't you love that? I'm going to go on tour. Just kidding. Okay, now we're going to do our little skinny leaves over here. Little tiny baby leaves. We've sent a few of these to grandparents and they like the kids, the kids ones much better than mine, which I think is appropriate. Okay. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and hit each of those leaves with my shading to give them some definition. These ones are pretty wet down here, so I might need to wait a little bit. Now, I have a little bit of space right up here. This is not perfectly centered. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a little heart right up here. Mostly just to make it look like I meant to do that, which I didn't. Well, that leaf looks bad. Oh, no, that's okay. We can come back and fix it later, but um, Zuzu has put a little bit too much water on one of her areas, and so once you've kind of gotten to a certain point with a leaf and you get really frustrated, just leave it alone, let it dry, and then come back and fix it once it's dry because it's hard to work with watercolor paper that's gotten too wet. Okay. Now, again with this gray-green... I'm gonna, I'm gonna pretend like my box is an actual box. 
and I'm going to come and kind of shade it on each side on where I've already done I've already made a line and I'm essentially kind of shading it just like in like I would a, a letter there we go if I was lettering something okay now I'm gonna come over here and shade this shade this box If you have any suggestions for verses for us to letter, something that's your favorite, please message me or comment because I would love to, to be able to do some of your favorites. And I forgot to, can I use your pencil? Yep. Forgot to erase my little line by hope. I'd also love to see if you've made any creations that just out of from from your own, like your own verse or your own um, design, we could get some ideas from. Okay, now I'm gonna come with my tiny brush. Where'd that tiny brush go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> and I'm gonna do some black highlights on the word hope. I thought, I thought white was highlighting. I'm, well, okay, maybe. I'm just defining it, but that's a good question. I need to probably ask somebody that who's smarter than I am. So where the light is hitting, that's where I'm touching. Who are you going to give yours to, Zoo? I don't know. Should I give it to Cookie? Cookie would love it. There. Yeah. Now we can see it really good. Okay, now if you wanted to, you're the recipient of your painting might be uh, framing this. So you may want to sign it. I'm going to just do it with a pencil down here in the corner. And then up here, kind of by my leaves, I'm, I'm going to write my verse reference right here. You don't have to do that. This is just where I feel like it balances this particular piece the best. So I'm going to write, I'm going to go along the line of these leaves. Psalm, it's okay. Psalm 25 verse 21. And it's actually 25 verse 21 B, but. 21. And you can even go over that in pencil if you want to. The boys are so excited. They got a movie from the library a long time ago about a Komodo dragon. That's what they are watching right now. Okay. I'm going to do a little heart between hope between my letters here. Each one of them, I have a teeny tiny heart. But just to give me something in between there. And then on this heart, I'm going to go around it. Again, let's just do three little dots for fun. Speaking of dots, let's add a few more. <laughs> Why not? I'm going to use a gold, and I'm going to do groupings of three. I really love groupings of three. And just, this is going to add just a little bit of color to what we've already got. That's okay. I have discovered that I have great neighbors. I knew that, but this time at home has confirmed it. And that's something really nice to know. So I've got my little dots and then my verse, my hope is in you. We're almost done. I hope y'all are gonna have a great day. I hope you have some fun little things to do with your family.
just be together as we pray for our nation, pray for those who are hurting and lonely, pray for those who are scared. Let's pray right now before we leave. Jesus, thank you so much. Thank you that we can be out here painting today. Thank you that we can be together as a family, safe in our home. And we just pray, Lord, for our nation. We pray, Lord, that we would make our hope in you. God, that we would we would go to your throne and we would give you all of our anxieties, all of our worries. And um, Father, we pray for our medical staff that you would uphold them and strengthen them. And um, we just thank you, Lord, for this time that we can be as a family. And we thank you, Lord, for opportunities to love people. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a good day.